Hi, um, it's Friday. I, this, this video is going to be really fast and it's not going to have very much editing because I can't do that right now because I am running out of time like Andy was yesterday because I went to dinner and I had a voice lesson where I sing and stuff stuff. So I got my braces off. They look like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm, you probably didn't notice them in the other videos, but I got my braces off. And that's something that happened this week. I also have a lot of rehearsals for Woods, as Andy mentioned, which is called Into the Woods, like the play name, um, if you've ever heard of that. And uh, I play Rapunzel, and I'm really excited, but I'm in both casts, so it's going to be really hard for me to film the next two weeks of video. So I will probably upload a very short, unedited video, and then I will upload the next day, hopefully on the weekend, then you'll have some like bonus content or something. Me filming backstage in the backstage area, yeah. Oh, if you want to ask any questions, just like comment below random questions or questions that you're actually wondering or stuff like that and I will ask people in my cast and we will have answers to them and you'll get to see people in costume. I have a really big wig and it's really curly so that'll be interesting. Um, so I wanted to you know respond to Julia's video but, but I have to do this really quickly. That video was amazing. Oh my gosh I was just like psh, mind blown. So perfection is kind of a, a lot of people argue it does perfection actually exist does is perfection really true um and perfection is kind of it's a hard thing to understand but the way that i see perfection is that it's it's perfection it's like it's something to work towards and although i know that you can never achieve perfection uh maybe one day we will but i don't really think so i don't really want to but I always try for it, you know? I always try to get something perfect, just the way I want it. And even if it's it's almost there, I still like it. And that's what's good. It helps us work harder. It helps us really care about things more, I think, because we want the perfection. And then how she was talking about, like, um, people doing bad things to themselves and people being unhappy about themselves. I mean, that is like a really touchy subject, and I, I don't feel the right to talk about that because, you know, like, it, it's not really my business. That hasn't happened to me, and I hope it doesn't happen to me, but there are a lot of people out there that just don't feel good about themselves. I mean, like, there's a lot of my friends just, they'll talk about themselves, and they don't really, they don't really seem like they feel good about themselves, and I don't want people to not feel good about themselves. They deserve to feel good about themselves. Like... I, I just don't understand how somebody could not feel good about themselves. I mean, I understand sometimes there are people that just don't feel good about themselves, and that's because of certain reasons, like they think that they're not pretty, or they think that they're not good enough, or they think that they're not good at something that they want to be good at, and it's something that they really, really love. But if you really, really love something, it doesn't mean that you can't get better at it, or you're not good. And if you think you're not pretty. That's not true because nobody isn't pretty. This actually all reminds me of a quote by John Green that's on this poster that I have and it says what a treacherous thing to believe that a person is more than a person. You can't just believe that a person is perfect or that they are better than you or something like that. You just have to realize that they're a person just like you and you're a person. And you both don't have to be perfect. You just have to accept each other for your imperfections. Love each other for your flaws. And hope that one day everyone else can see that they don't matter. I mean, shouldn't you just love the world? Love the world so that perfection doesn't even matter. Because you can just wake up in the morning and love your mistakes and love the things that you did well and just love that you aren't perfect. Just love that you are you and that nobody else is you and that you don't have to be the prettiest girl in school or the coolest guy on the street. 
or the smartest person. You don't have to be more than a person. You can just be you. Which, in a way, makes you perfect. But imperfect. So just love the world. And share that love with other people. And show people that perfection doesn't matter. Because perfection, it's just a word that I'm not even positive I know the meaning of.